Now, what I've got on the bench today, then, is uh, a little Yagi antenna, and uh, it's the smallest Yagi antenna that I've ever come across for the frequencies that it claims to work at. Now, this is uh, sold as a dual band Yagi antenna, dual band for 2.4 gigahertz and 5.8 gigahertz. There's no uh, 5 gigahertz uh, Wi Fi with this antenna apparently it's 2.4 gigahertz 5.8 gigahertz and by its description it's called a uh, image transmission antenna I can only assume that it's um, advertised at um, the uh, um, FPV community for uh, quadcopters or even security cameras with it working at 5.8 gigahertz um 2.4 gigahertz as well you often see a lot of uh, cameras working at 2.4 gigahertz but the majority um tend to be for 5.8 gigahertz and i pick this up because it's just so unusual now it's not just its size that's unusual what i find unusual is uh, the parasitic elements here there's three of them one two three and how small they are when you compare them um, against the dipole element here much much smaller than the dipole element i've never seen a yagi with such a uh, small parasitic element maybe that's uh, where they're getting their uh, dual band frequency from i don't know we'll test it in a minute over onto on the uh, test bench there but uh, it really is uh, nice and i will include a uh, pdf uh, below in the description with all the measurements on but uh, it's got the um, folded dipole here and here and uh, this is the reflector here stitching through and uh, we've also got it printed on the back there the reflector although we've got this uh, screen uh, mask here covering it up but you can uh, clearly see the stitching all the way through there and here we've got this uh, feed line going in here and you can see how this is bent and how it doesn't go in just a straight line connects over to uh, one of the dipole elements on this side on the underneath through this uh, via stitch in here and uh, this arrangement with this pattern that would be acting as a ballon to balance out the folded dipole so it's really really a simple little yagi now the seller of this claims uh, six to seven dbi of gain and it's probably uh, right on the money with that. It's probably is certainly not exaggerating like we do see with a lot of the Chinese sellers. Um, probably 7 dB is uh, more realistic with the three parasitic elements there. Now, I bought this from AliExpress. Um, he does sell the same antenna on eBay, but uh, there's like a $13, $14 difference in the pricing between ebay and aliexpress um it came pretty quick as well i have to say uh, you know for the uh, christmas holidays and everything else that's going on in the world uh, it only took nine days uh, to uh, come and uh, that's not working days either that's including the weekend so uh, shipping was pretty fast but uh, let's take this over to the network analyzer then and uh, we'll see if um, you know the claims that it uh, is a dual band little yagi antenna uh, are correct and it does work for 2.4 and 5.8 so here it is on the uh, test setup and it's looking nice on the network analyzer for 2.4 gigahertz but what i've decided to do is uh, instead of looking at the entire band from uh, say 2 gigahertz all the way up to uh, 6 gigahertz We'll look at each band in turn just so we get better resolution and we can take a uh, better look at uh, each band just to see how well it works in the uh, frequencies that are advertised. So here we are then uh, looking at the 2.4 gigahertz frequency response. We're scanning from 2 gigahertz over here up to uh, 3 gigahertz over here. We've got this lovely dip right in the middle of the uh, 2 gigahertz spectrum there. If I uh, move the cursor, we've got 2.44 gigahertz going down to 247 gigahertz, 250 gigahertz, and again, all the way over here, it's looking uh, pretty good as well. In fact, all the way up to almost 2.7 gigahertz, so it's pretty wide in its uh, frequency of operation, but it's really nice there 
bang in the middle of the uh, Wi-Fi spectrum a really nice response now let's take a look at the 5.8 uh, gigahertz uh, frequency response for this because it's not often we get a dual band antenna that works really nice in uh, both of its frequencies so let me set it up and we'll have a look at what that looks like now I've played around with this uh, for a good uh, 20 minutes and uh, it was a little bit confusing for me I've uh, widened the range that I'm scanning at I'm now scanning from uh, 4 gigahertz over here up to uh, 6.2 gigahertz over here and we've got this dip in this area here but the dip is in the 5 gigahertz range so 5 gigahertz, gigahertz Wi-Fi operates around here this is uh, going to uh, 4.6 gigahertz here but if we move the cursor to 5.8 gigahertz you can see that we're not getting any kind of frequency response from that area so if you purchase this little Yagi and uh, intended to use it for FPV video or you know uh, security camera footage anything around uh, 5.8 gigahertz is going to be pretty poor but uh, as a dual band uh, Wi-Fi antenna 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz you could actually use this it's pretty nice so I'm not sure um, what the seller is uh, claiming here I mean it's obviously doesn't work for 5.8 gigahertz and he is calling it a uh, video uh, transmission antenna so he's obviously trying to target that uh, kind of market there but no it, it doesn't work at 5.8 gigahertz at all and uh, you know depending on how much power you uh, drive your equipment I know it's uh, illegal now in a lot of countries to use uh, anything over one milliwatt uh, sorry um, one watt if I remember rightly I'm not uh, an FPV uh, enthusiast I don't really fly myself but uh, if you were to say something use something like a four watt uh, uh, amplifier on your uh, 200 milliwatt transmitter like you can do they uh, still sell those on eBay you would probably end up damaging your equipment using this antenna with uh, such a poor frequency response all the way up there you get so much reflections down back down the transmission line you can cause serious damage to your equipment but no this antenna does not work at 5.8 gigahertz now as you saw on the network analyzer it most certainly does not work for uh, FPV at uh, 5.8 gigahertz and when I find something like that I end up questioning myself sometimes and uh, I didn't mention it there but I even uh, reset the network analyzer and calibrated it again checked all my uh, connections and everything else just to make uh, doubly sure uh, it wasn't a mistake on my end but uh, the claims for this to work at 5.5 uh, gigahertz to 6 gigahertz I think that needs to be changed to uh, 4.5 gigahertz to 5 gigahertz um, it certainly does not work um, beyond uh, 5 gigahertz in and I'd still say you know if you were to connect this to uh, anything of uh, you know say a watt or above um, you're going to damage your equipment uh, stay well away from this one but if you want to use this for uh, Wi-Fi and uh, 2.4 gigahertz and uh, 5 gigahertz it's going to do remarkably well and uh, it probably does give um, you know possibly 5 uh, db to 6 db of gain I can't really see this operating at uh, 7 db but uh, I could be wrong but uh, it is a, a nice small uh, compact design and as I said I'll uh, produce a PDF and I'll put a link in the description if you uh, want to download this for the measurements and some artwork as well if you want to make one of these um, there is only that one seller that I found online selling this particular design and as I said I bought this off Aliexpress I've never purchased anything off those before um, and it, it came really really quickly but uh, the seller should not be branding this as uh, something to use at 5.8 gigahertz and you know the way this is put together is really nice you know you see the ballon here the feed there and uh, the V is going through to make uh, 
a connection with this part of the uh, folded dipole here this is a shorter design of course it's all shorted here on the ground plane and these little parasitic elements uh, really does the job for uh, Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz but uh, certainly does not work for video at uh, 5.8 gigahertz so as always uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and found it useful any comments or questions drop them below I'll do my best to answer them it's a nice little design I like it I like uh, small footprint designs like this and uh, I've got some ideas to incorporate this into a few of my uh, projects in the future but uh, yeah if you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up and uh, hopefully you'll join me on the next one